This video we are installing and using Windows XP, so it's about 22 years old operating system running it inside Windows 11 in 2024. So it's kind of crazy doing this, but let's just try it and how it feels like. We'll install it using virtual machines and especially virtual box here on Windows 11 computer. It will be pretty easy and fun, so let's get straight into this. First, download and install virtual box. You can find the link in the description. Go for Windows or Mac OS if you are running on Mac. Then you have to go to this website. It's an archive.org website where you're going to find the Windows XP operating system ISO file. If you click here on ISO image, you'll find a list with a bunch of operating system files. But the one that I downloaded and tried before is this one here, English Windows XP Pros X64 VL ISO. You'll find the link of this one in the description too. So just go ahead and click download here and this will start to download immediately. And also on this website, we have the product keys that we have for activating the windows for X64 operating system then we have these two keys. We're going to use this first one. But before, let's go ahead and create the virtual machine. Open virtual box, click on new, put the name Windows XP. And here on ISO image, choose the location where we want to save. Here on ISO image, click on other and choose and pick the ISO file that we have downloaded. Open. And by default, this is going to be an unattended installation. And this means that virtual box will do all the installation for us. If you want to manually do it, you can check this one. But for now, I will uncheck and continue like this. So click next here, just put a username put a password and here we have the product for the product key we go back to the website i'll copy this first one here on x64 copy and i'll paste it here on product key so everything looks good we can continue next for the base memory ram uh, i recommend you to use about one gigabyte of ram so 124 megabytes and for processors maybe two it's okay next 10 gigabytes of storage is it's really good next finish then it will automatically start the installation so let's see what happens Okay, now it's formatting our partition or the storage. And we'll start copying files and run the installation. Okay, now the Windows XP is booting up. Installation is still running. Okay, now Windows XP is successfully installed. We can use it directly. So we can do anything and it looks like kind of very old. A lot of messages here. Here's a start menu. We have a lot of programs, games. We still have Internet Explorer. And also if I go to my computer, we have control panel where we can customize everything. So everything looks good. But if I go to full screen, it will not go full screen. And also the mouse is very slow and bad graphics. So to fix this problem, what we can do, we can go to devices, install guest edition cd image if i go to my computer for now it's not going to show anything here but we have to restart this machine and then we can install the tools of virtual box so just click on x bar off and then we start again now we can go to start and my computer and if you scroll down you'll see virtual box guest additions so just double click on here we'll start the setup next next install now we restart one more time now we can just go to view full screen switch and we have a full screen Windows XP operating system in our Windows 11 computer. So it's very, very fast operating system and it does not require a lot of RAM or storage or speed or CPU processing or anything. You can do any, pretty much everything that you do in a normal Windows computer because this is an old one, but things like Internet Explorer, which I think it doesn't work anymore now, it's retired. But let's see if we can go to google.com and actually we, we can, so it's really nice. If I search top notch programmer, yes. Yep, it works. So let's try to go to website. Okay, so it's not able to go there. Uh, because of the JavaScript, of course, it's turned off here. And not a lot of websites would work. Just simple websites that are built years ago. Now you can play with cards. Oh, we also have 3D game pinball. Let's see if it works. Oh, it actually works, but I cannot go full screen. I don't even know how to use this, so... Okay, guys, this was the Windows XP. It's a very, very old operating system. You can just install it just for fun to try out how it feels like when people was using this before. So, okay, so see you in the next video. Peace.